Hello, hello everyone. Sif Alchemist here. First of all, I would like to thank you very, very much for your subscriptions, for your likes. I truly appreciate it. Today is a smoke scrying reading. And I'm going to use this fresh stick to channel the smoke for you and see what spirit has for you through the smoke. So let's get right to it. This is going to be... Um, for the collective, it might resonate or not. But if you want your own private uh, reading specific, specifically for you, custom for you, you can find it at sifalchemist.com. Let's get right to it. So we're going to start the smoke. Azurremech sindresh isefen zurach milleret sun kasuchresh immeten Koras if en itech Zung ipeleremes kush. All right. Beautiful smoke, consistent and very calm and very, um, very mature. It's a mature energy. The energy of someone who's wise, who's experienced, who's behind the scenes. People don't really know who you are. But you're a wise person. You're very, um, you have this beautiful energy about you, but it can be seen right away. You're not loud. Most people nowadays just want to prove themselves by being loud. But for you, you don't show your true self and you're not loud. And you're always in the background. You're always quiet. But you're smart, you're intelligent, you're attractive, not physically speaking, but your energy is incredibly attractive. You find people attracted to you sometimes just randomly. You're, you'll be in, your, in a coffee shop and the coffee shop will be empty. So, and you sit somewhere. The next person that comes to sit, they're going to sit right next to you, right to the table next to you, even though the whole coffee shop is empty. You go to a store to buy something. One few seconds after you enter, there's three, four people that come right after that enter the stores. But before you, the store is empty. So you have this incredible energy, this magnetic energy that just attracts people. And the people don't blame them, don't get angry at them. They don't do it on purpose. For them, it's subconscious. They don't even understand why. For that person who comes and sits in the coffee shop next to you, the poor thing, they don't know why. They don't know why they're 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 not thinking it because they're normal people they're not gifted people they're like think of them as some like uh just some people who are living their normal lives and they just went and sat next to you and even though the coffee shop is empty but they themselves don't understand if you ask them why are you sitting here if you would to for example they wouldn't have an answer they would just say oh i don't know i just sat here but you, that's your energy. Your energy affects people. But that makes it misunderstandable as well by people. As in, people think sometimes that mm, you're not, um, you're not a, you know, you're not someone um, important or you're, you're not a big deal, you know. They think that you're not, you know, they can ignore you or... They can sometimes take advantage of you or they will ask you to do things that they cannot do um, because to them they're like, oh, I can I can use that, per that person. I can use them because they're not going to say no. It came to me. People think that you're a yes person. People think that, oh, you can say yes to everything. Why? Why? Because you're kind. Because you're nice. You know why? That's because you're wise. That's because you're intelligent. But people don't know how ferocious you are. They don't know how strong and powerful you are. They have no idea. They have no idea how you have this dark side about you. Beautiful dark side. This nothing has to do with negativity. I'm not talking about something dangerous. Beautiful dark side. That, for example, if you were to protect, if a situation uh, came up where you had to protect your loved ones or your pet or anyone, 
the things you can do to protect someone you love are dangerous. You have the ability to take someone's life easily, easily, easily. But that power for you stays always, you don't use it because, because there's no need to use it. But you have that power. But no one sees that power in you. No one. No one sees that power. But sometimes you might find that um, people kind of, they're always hesit hesitant. They're always hesitating to talk to you or to approach you. You have the magnetic energy, as I have mentioned in the beginning. You have that magnetic energy, but at the same time, people will think twice or three times or four times before they approach you. you th they, they sense something about you that's kind of, they don't know what it is, but they sense that, oh, I, I can't, I don't know what's about that person. Can I go ask them something? Or maybe I shouldn't. And they can't explain why. That's because in their subconscious, they sense that powerful dark energy that you possess, that very few people have. Actually, in your environment, no one has that. Only you have it. In your surroundings, amongst your family, friends, no one has that. Only you. And even your friends don't know that you have that. Your friends think you're a yes person, you're kind, you're nice, you say yes all the time to everything. Hey, can you do this for me? Some people take advantage of you, but they don't know what you're capable of. And I'm not talking about it as in the sense of a psycho who's doesn't hide, who hides uh, their true uh, intentions. No, 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 no. You're a very smart, intelligent, wise person. People actually, when people get to know you, they adore you. When people get to know you, they can fall in love with you very easily, <laughs> but they have to get to know you first. The more they get to know you, the more they talk to you and you start telling them about uh, your experiences, about your wisdom, and they see how smart you are, they, they fall in love easily with you. Uh, uh, like, it, it's, it's, it's part of who you are. But uh, again, it's always that initial approach. It's very hard to approach you, but you're magnetic at the same time. And that magnetism works for everything. So sometimes you will attract weirdos. You know the phrase, uh, the weirdo magnet? <laughs> you know weirdo magnets are not just like... Um, when you hear that, it's there are specific people who will attract weird people. Weirdos as in like people who are mentally ill or who are just crazy, who don't have a proper mental capacity. It's because these people who don't have that proper mental capacity, like a normal person, they, they have, their senses are more accentuated. So they do sense like there's something different with you. That normal people in the beginning, they usually, they might or might not sense. But a crazy person, they would sense that because you're different. You're different. And that's why you might find it <laughs> that... Um, Crazy people, like cra you know, the you know, crazy people might be. You you might attract them more. You might attract them more than other people. But don't think it's a bad thing. That's just your energy, because your energy is very powerful, and that extends to spirits and entities and demons. Spirits are attracted to you. Uh, to a crazy extent, you have a lot of paranormal activities that happen around you in your home. Even in the places you go to, uh, spirits come to visit you every night. Sometimes you're aware of it, sometimes you're not. Um, you sense spirits when they touch you or when they approach you. Um, a lot of uh, spirits sometimes want to uh, just connect to you. They want your attention. But at the same time, some spirits want to also come to harm you because again your energy is powerful for the powerful people out there who have this kind of energy you have the power to trigger people without saying anything that also is one thing that happens to you and you're confused to why it happens you can be sitting not saying a word just there in the corner and in the corner not even at the front in the corner it could be a restaurant it could be I don't know, it could be at the gym, you could be in a park, and you will irritate people. You will irritate someone. 
your energy is so powerful, it's so intimidating, it's so mysterious that it, it irritates people. You might find that some people want to just start an argument with you for no reason. And they, even, they don't understand why. So spirit here is saying, never entertain an, an argument, never. If someone starts an argument, leave, leave them there. Stand up and leave the place. Don't, don't, don't even respond. Because uh, you're, you're much higher than that. You're, you're a much higher spirit than theirs. So you might find yourself irritating a lot of people, again, without saying a word. But that applies to spirits as well. A lot of bad spirits are not going to like you. They're not. They might start attacking you, sleep paralysis, making you trip a lot of times when you're walking outside on a flat surface. Uh, um, something might uh, uh, come your way, like you see that, like a tree, and then there's something that falls from the tree, like a tree branch tries to fall on, on you, just, just on you specifically, or just random paranormal things that might happen that seem like they're trying to harm you, because you trigger bad spirits as well. You trigger humans, and these humans are also usually the ones with bad energies. Usually. The ones with good energies, you don't trigger them. You only trigger the people with bad energies. But you trigger bad spirits as well. But it doesn't mean that you're bad. It doesn't mean that, oh, why... If you find yourself asking, why are these things happening to me? It's not because of you. It's because your energy is incredible. And spirit wants you to start using this energy for the good, for protecting people. Maybe you can do, if you're into the occult, you can do rituals for protection. You can do rituals uh, to help people with the problems that they have. Because your energy is immense and it needs to be used uh, for the benefits of other people, to help other people. If it's a, a physical field, maybe uh, you should uh, work as a cop or police, or you can work as a firefighter. Something that... Um, that requires immense energy and courage and strength, which you have, that can help other people. It is connected to helping others. It, it is connected to taking care of others. And, but it has to be something powerful. So it, regardless if it's in the spiritual realm or the physical realm, you're supposed to do, uh, pursue a career that has to do with helping people. And you can um, think of it as however you want. It could be also um, helping animals, you know, in a, in a sense that you're not going to let people harm animals. Um, it, um, it's not about um, just having a lot of pets or building a shelter. That's also amazing. This has more to do with defending physically, like, like you're going to, like, it, you're not going to let someone harm that someone else. You're not going to let someone harm that animal. It's, so that's why it has to do with authority, with police, with the army, something like that. You would be so perfect for those kind of jobs if you're more connected to the physical reality. If you're connected to spirit, it's all about rituals of protection, hexing, unhexing, banishing bad spirits, exorcising. You would be amazing at that. So remember um, that your power is immense, that your mysterious, you're beautiful, you're amazing, you're, you're just, um, whatever people think about you, it doesn't matter what they think about you. They think that you're nice, that you're kind, that uh, they can take advantage of you, but they don't know your true nature. Um, and they don't need to know your true nature. Be mysterious. Uh, have fun with life. Make people think you're something that you're not. Sometimes it's fun because you're not harming anyone. At the end of the day, you're just having fun with it. <laughs> Sometimes you have to be like air and have fun. Let them think that you're a yes person, that you're kind, that you're not, which you are. You are a nice person. You are a kind person. Um, and if they don't know that other side about you, it's okay. They don't need to know it. Maybe one day you'll, they will be surprised and they will see that side of you and they will be very surprised. Um, but you're an amazing soul. And um, spirit is protecting you. You're going to attract a lot of interesting paranormal experiences in your life. Be ready for that. That's what spirit is saying. But embrace them, own them, 
it's part of who you are a lot of spirits are going to come to you as well a lot of entities are going to come to you the good ones the bad ones um and um your life is very exciting so uh, enjoy it be happy with it be happy with who with who you are and again if someone is treating you bad and if someone is not giving you the respect that you deserve um, you don't need to hang around them you can just leave them it's as simple as that you know just do what makes you who you are and be who you are because spirit is proud of you and your guardian spirits they're always guiding you and protecting you as well okay so this is what i have for you beautiful look at look how flowy the smoke is look this is a representation of your energy look how beautiful it is okay so this is what i have for you thank you very very much for tuning in i hope the smoke scrying reading helped thank you and i'll see you in the next reading Mok